Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Frank Warren, who is both the promoter of Tyson Fury and his brother, Tommy Fury, has basically expressed interest in promoting and putting together a showdown between Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. Jake Paul has made some references, you know, dissing Tommy Fury. And Tommy Fury said, hey, you know, send me a contract and we'll put it together. And Frank Warren said, hey, if Jake Paul is serious and he wants to fight, he said he'll make it happen. So I've seen highlights of Tommy Fury fighting. And I can tell you right now. Uh, based off what I've seen, who is more polished as a professional fighter than Jake Paul? I could tell you right now, Tommy Fury mops the floor with Jake Paul, and I'm just being completely honest. Jake Paul is not going to accept that fight. I promise you, he's going to talk a bunch of shit, but he won't accept the fight. I keep telling you this thing with fake Paul is a charade, and there's people that actually really believe that he might have a chance against Carl Froch. Jake Paul will get blenders put on him by Carl Froch. Okay. Once again, you talking about people that have been doing this for years. Carl Froch is a Carl Froch is a former title holder. Okay. So let's just stop. But Tommy Fury is like maybe 4-0 with, I think he has all knockouts. So it would it would be interesting, but Jake Paul ain't going to take that fight. He know better. He going to keep this, this charade going for as long as possible. But I do like the fact that real actual fighters are calling him out. Because, like I said, eventually he is going to have to get in the ring with a real fighter. Now, if he says, hey, I'm not really trying to fight professional, professional fighters. I'm a celebrity fighter, which means I'm in a different, you know, lane as far as fighting actual bo boxers, then that's cool. Because he letting it be known. But the longer he continues to go back and forth with, you know, professional boxers... Look, the demand is going to call for him to fight some of these guys. Now, I know Jake Paul is building a fan base, but like I said, eventually, as more boxers step up and start calling him, the demand for him to fight some of these guys is going to grow. And I don't want to hear no excuses from his fan base about, oh, you know, he don't have to fight those kind of guys. So, you know, I'm just keep, I'm just keeping it keeping it 100. So, we going to see how long Jake Paul going to milk this because there ain't going to be too many fighting Ben uh Aspirin, you know, fights, you know, going down. He's going to have to eventually fight real fighters. If he says he's a real fighter. So, we'll see. It's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.